Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Gabriella from Lula Life Magazine. I blog all about fashion, beauty, and of course, life. If you follow me on Instagram a few weeks ago, I did a poll so that you guys could choose my makeup look. And I'm finally sitting down to film it for you guys. And if you want to see how I achieved this look, thanks to y'all votes, <laughs> please stay tuned. First things first, let's get the hair out of the way and prep our canvas. I've already done skincare, I've already done primer. So what I'm going to do now first is I'm just going to moisturize my lips and I'm going to use the Vaseline Blue Seal. <laughs> I use the Aloe Fresh one, I don't like the original, so, and I love the smell of this. <laughs> so I'm just adding some moisture to my lips, so when I do lipstick, they are ready for liner and the lip color so now that i've done that i'm going to go in with my foundation now i'm going to use the double wear nude by estee lauder y'all know i love this foundation i rarely use it but i'm going to use it in this video because i like i love the finish so i just um shaked it a little bit and now i'm just going to pop it on all over my face Now that I have the desired coverage, <laughs> I'm going to go and I'm going to start with the eyelids and then I'm going to do brows. I'm going to tell you why I'm doing it that way. So now that I have my foundation on, I'm going to go and do my eyeshadow. Weird way of doing it, I know. So I'm going to put a little bit of my concealer on and I'm using the Candid Concealer by Revlon in the shade 025 and I'm going to put a little bit on my eyelid just to prime the lid so that the um, eyeshadow can stay on for as long as possible. I'm just looking for my brush and I'm just going to move that around on the lid. Okay, so I have that on now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my bronzer as a transitional shade, which is a nice base shade for any um, eyeshadow look that you're going to do. I'm taking this fluffy brush that used to be in those old school Switch Beauty eyeshadow sets. I still have mine. And I'm going to go in with my Catrice Mineral Bronzer and I'm just going to pop that on as a transitional shade. That's what it looks like so far just with my bronzer on so you guys voted warm tones so i'm gonna go in with my old school sweet beauty palette which is perfect it's filled with the warmest tones that you can find <laughs> and basically i'm gonna go in with a brush like this it's a little tinier um it's not as fluffy as my bronzer one but it's really nice and i'm gonna go in with this dark brown not dark it's basically a, just a brown shade over there with a little bit on this brush just to deepen out my crease <laughs> So that's what it looks like now, and now I'm just going to go with a clean um, blending brush and just blend it. So I'm going to take another brush like this, and I'm going to go in with this 
dark brown it's slightly darker than my bronzer the pan is empty you can't even see the color but i'm gonna take a little bit of that just to deepen the outer color. and now i'm gonna take my fluffy brush that had the bronzer on Ooh, no wrong brush wrong brush that had the bronzer on and i'm just gonna Puff it out. So that's what the colors look like now. This is really like a nice eyeshadow look for every day, like day to day vibes. But you guys want a full glam. So, camera sale. Ooh, focus. You guys want a full glam. So I'm gonna take my flat eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna go in with this light gold shade and i'm just gonna put that on top of what i already have and that is what it's looking like really 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 beautiful warm tones really gorgeous i think a lighter gold really opens the eye up instead of going for like a darker gold and it really looks nice with all the brown and warm tones that I have Ooh, my camera is having a moment that I have going on on the outer corners of the eye so now that the eyeshadow is done and ready and prepped for the lashes which are the star of the show I'm gonna go and use the flutter away um, lashes from Sorbet and I'm gonna just take my glue quickly and I'm gonna put the glue on while that dries I'm gonna do my brows so I have my lashes drying on the side there and now I'm just gonna do brows quickly for you guys going in with a spoolie just to brush the hairs up so my brows are pretty dark still from the henna brow but there are still some areas that are are starting to fade so I do want to have those fold in and I'm going in with my brow pomade by revolution and I'm just taking a brush and I'm gonna fold my brows <laughs> so my brows are ready filled don't need much because they are still full from the henna brow and now I just want to carve them out going in with my concealer again what I do is I just put a little bit on the back of my hand and take a eyeshadow brush a flat one but the smaller ones not like those bigger ones and I'm just gonna use that to carve up my brow <music> To blend that out, I'm going to use a fluffy um, brush, just blend it out. And now my brows are done. <laughs> so my lashes should be dry by now, so I'm going to go and take one of them. I use a tweezer to apply my lashes. So I basically put the tweezer in the center of the lash and then I basically just place them, hold and then I release. So I have to do this because I can't really see without my glasses. So I have to hold just so that I can be precise with what I'm doing. There are various ways to do this but this is what I found is the easiest. So I just hold it in the center and then place them on let me just check placement more or less in the same place so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to merge my two the false lash and my lashes together 
by going in with some mascara and just putting them so that it looks seamless and it adds a bit of volume. And that is what it looks really flatters away. Really, really like these lashes. So now let's do the rest of the face. I'm gonna go in again with my concealer under the eye and conceal there because we gotta get rid of them bags. Now using a beauty blender, I'm gonna blend it all in. Now to set my concealer, I'm gonna use my Revolution Ultra Contour Palette. And I'm gonna use this banana shade over there with a fluffy brush and just ooh, just set my concealer. Okay, lastly for under the eye, I'm gonna use a ooh, I'm gonna use a oh I don't have it here. I'm gonna use a little fluffy brush a smaller one and then I'm gonna use my bronzer and sort of define under the eye with the same colors that I usually did that I basically did on top okay that looks amazing so far so you guys oh yeah no you guys wanted full contour so I'm gonna do full contour and I'm using the pro Cream Contour Palette by Beauty Hyper. I've spoken about this in a review. If you haven't seen that video, please make sure you check it out on my channel. And I really love how creamy this contour shade is. And I'm going to go in with that one. It's a really nice caramelly brown. And I'm going to just contour. So we do the side. And we do the side. Contour the nose. And then a bit of the forehead. Okay. So that is as full contour as I basically do. Taking my beauty blender. And I'm just going to blend it in. I'm pretty happy with how this contour is looking but I do want to highlight my nose a little bit so I'm just gonna take some of the candid concealer and then highlight my bridge ever so slightly and then buff it in okay wow your girl is looking hella glam hella glam so usually I would set with bronzer, but I'm going to set with my blush today. Um, and I'm going to go in with the Pro Blush Palette by Beauty Hyper. Basically what I did in the review, I'm going to take these two shades over here, merge them together, and then just add that above my contour. Like, and that is it. Just two strokes. Like, I don't need much. This pigment is so, so nice that you don't really need to put much on. Lastly, I'm going to finish my face with my Glowgasm palette. Old Glowgasm palette. Yo, like, this is like an old school um, Swiss beauty video. And I'm going to take some highlighter on my nose and obviously on my cheekbones. like it's blinding <laughs> so nice and then I'm gonna do some lips I'm gonna go in you guys voted this was a tough one you voted full glam you voted for lashes you voted for warm eyeshadow but you guys were like super indecisive when it came to lips and it was bold lips when I took the screenshot of the poll 
but when I went to go look again it was a nude lip so I'm gonna go sort of in between like a boldish nude lip if that makes sense and I'm just gonna go in first with some liner and it is the soft contouring liner by Essence in the shade Going Stick. <music> Okay, so now that my lips are lined, so like I said, bold nude, and I'm going in with the shade Taupe, my MAC Taupe lipstick. <laughs> it's a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. It's a nudish kind of look, but it's a little darker than like your average nudes, basically. And I'm just going to go in with that on top. that is the look like <laughs> i'm actually surprised at how good it looks let me just take my hair out so that i can get the full gist of the vibe so wow okay this looks really nice i haven't done a full face of makeup like this in a long long time i really think i look really good and thank you guys for voting for Full Glam because it's been a minute since your girl looked this snatched. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being involved in the poll. I think I'm going to do another one like this um, really soon. Maybe in my Vlogmas series. Maybe. Maybe before Vlogmas even. But please subscribe to my channel so that you know when new videos are up. I am doing Vlogmas this year. Super excited. So there is a lot of content coming your way. Really helpful. Really fun stuff. Really keen to be doing um, Vlogmas this year. And I hope to see you guys on my, like in the description. Um, not in the description box. What am I saying? I hope to see you guys commenting in the comment section and liking this video. It is so much fun doing this kind of things for you guys. And I will see you in the next video.